Thank you for tuning in again with Dr. Erasure Yvonne McCurtis. Tonight, there is a word from the Lord. Expectancy, go look again. Expectancy, go look again. This will be a quick word, so don't miss it. But good morning, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. This is your pastor, teacher, facilitator, and coach of the OYM on your mark, get set, ready, grow channel. Tonight, there is a word from the Lord. He gave it to me short and quick, and I will give it to you just as was given to me. But before we begin, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I give myself over to you that this word would not be a word of flesh, but a word of spirit, and that this word, God, would produce what it was sent to do, that God, the word would be perfected in the hearts of those that by faith, is claiming this word for those who have been seeking and praying to hear from you that God, through this word, they will be able to say that I have heard from the Lord. And Father, we ask this in your name. Thank you and amen and amen. Expectancy, go look again. Expectancy defined as thinking, waiting, hoping, expecting, something promising, pleasant, and anticipating its arrival. Well, I have news for you. For those of you who have waited in faithful anticipation, I have been commissioned to tell you that the wait is over. What are you believing for? You will not be a statistic. You will not go away empty handed. You shall see the hand of God in this season. No, it is not in vain. Yes, God has it all in control. Remember his word to you? Not one promise of God shall fall to the ground. If he told you, he would do it. Wait for it, for surely it shall come to pass this year. God is not a man that shall lie or the son of man that shall repent. If he said it, he shall bring it to pass. Open your eyes and close your mouth. Speak no more doubt. Galatians 4, 4 through 7. But when the fullness of time had come, Expectancy, expect and see. That is the way God gave it to me. Expectancy, expect and see. How many times do we awaken from our sleep with an idea that could transform our life from being stagnant into possibility and purpose, something that could revolutionize the world, yet the idea remains dormant within, never catapulting to the point of dreaming and to brainstorming, to sketching the idea into a blueprint that is ready for creation and production and productivity. Expectancy needs the mind to connect with its purpose in order to generate an idea that will follow the steps and protocol of a prototype that will inevitably transform its creator and revolutionize the world. I submit to you that expectancy is to expect and see. My God, Holy Spirit wants me to ask you, what do you expect and what do you see? What are you anticipating 
in the upcoming new year of 2021? Have you declined in your faith to believe for only what you see and that you can no longer in believe the impossible? Have you been challenged to your wits end to accept a new normal that life brings and refuse the new reign of a new thing? Isaiah 43 and 19, behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I am speaking to those of you who have walked it out this year with Jesus in spite of the turmoil, in spite of the disaster within the streets and the stifled mind when purpose seemed impossible because of a state in place order that not only locked you in behind a door and four walls, but locked you out of an authoritative worship into a spiritual and emotional prison and a psychological and mental drought you could not see past the apparent crisis and your faith looked like failure and your purpose resembled defeat. Who am I talking to if I didn't know what I knew in the past that God is able, I would have declined in my faith to seeing what my eyes saw, to believe in what the media said and what the numbers portrayed that there was more against us than there were for us, but my late mother who is resting in the hands of Jesus had a favorite scripture, 2 Corinthians 10 and 5, casting down every imagination and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. So let me ask you now, what do you see? I want to link this to an idea that is going to cause you to think about it. What do you see? First Corinthians in the New King James Version, the 18th chapter, verse 41 through 45, it reads, Then Elijah said to Ahab, Go up, eat, and drink, for there is the sound of abundance of rain. So Ahab went up to eat and drink, and Elijah went up the top of Carmel. Then he bowed down on the ground and put his face between his knees and said to his servant, Go up now, look toward the sea. So he went up and looked and said, Go again. Think, uh, then it came to pass of the seventh time that he said there is a cloud as small as a man's hand rising out of the sea. So he said, go up. He said to Ahab, prepare your chariot and go down before the rain stops you. Now it happened in the meantime that the sky became black with clouds and wind and there was a heavy rain. Can we shout the Lord he is God. The Lord, he is God. It may look like the rain will not come. It looks dark. Glory to God. There's clouds, but somebody told you a storm was coming. A storm, a hurricane was in the forecast. Somebody told you that it was going to be catastrophic, but the Lord told me to tell you it's not a storm. It's a shift. It's not a storm. It's a shift. And glory be to God. I had to deliver this word from the Lord to somebody that was about to give up and walk away from it all, about to throw in the towel and curse God and die. But God told me to tell you that though you see nothing and you looked again and there was nothing, he said, go again. This time, you shall see a small indication and man of God, woman of God, child of God, I see a small glimpse into your future. I am not a psychic, but I've been unctioned by Holy Spirit of God to tell you 
hey, uh, everything is going to be all right. There is a cloud as small as a man's hand rising out of the sea, and it is pointed in your direction. And you shall, by this same time within the week and on into the new year, you shall see rain, a heavy rain, and your future is about to turn around. Your future is about to turn around. God said this time, it's not a storm, it's a shift. Hallelujah. All around me, I can feel it's a lot of rain. Right on, Jesus, please send more rain until we are wet, until we are soaked in the latter rain. It's raining all around me. I can feel it. It's a lot of rain. Right on, Jesus. Please send more rain until we are wet. Until we are soaked in the latter rain. Hallelujah. My God. Right on Jesus. Please send the rain. Until we are soaked, until we are wet, my God. Well, this concludes another encounter with Dr. Aratia McCurtis and the OYM. God bless you. If you have been blessed by this word, please like, comment, Subscribe and share. God bless you.